Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on template driven forms of a controller level. For understanding this, I recommend you to watch template driven forms controller level in my Angular tutorial and I'll provide the link in the description for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. I have created Angular tutorial project and here I have app.component.html here I have defined an example with login form object username binded with my ng model and the password binded with my ng model and there is a ng submit so I have created a method inside my ts file if you go here there is a login form object and also a login submit method to understand this example please watch my template driven forms at a controller level in my angular tutorial playlist so let me go to the test cases so here let me try to create a fixture let fixture colon component fixture which is of type app component and let component instance colon which is of type app component so what I am doing is I am trying to test all these use cases like this form input field ng modal values and also a submit button. So I have created an instance and let me try to provide the values for that fixture. Fixture is equal to testbed dot create component of what type of components it's an app component and also let me create component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance I have created a fixture and a component instance let me create a it with a description and this description is something like check the form values in the form with ng modal controller values so this is something which I want to test and we will write all the related use cases inside this test case. So let me use fixture dot detect changes and once this fixture is stable what I want to do is I want to have a callback inside the callback let me use const username element this is my element which I want to get it from HTML content which is an input field and also it can be assigned with fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what I want to define a ID for this username field let me go to the HTML file and let me create an ID is equal to username ID so let me save this and copy this username ID and pass it here and let me assign some value for this username element dot some value is equal to username sample value this is my value and to trigger this on change event we have something called as dispatch event and inside the dispatch event let me pass some event here my event is of input type let me pass input type of event and also username element dot input element and this will be changing our ng modal values and when whenever my ng modal value is changed my component.ts login object will be changed so to detect these changes i want to update my fixture once again so fixture dot detect changes and once my fixture is again at a stable level i want to have a promise based callback and inside this callback i want to expect some value expect of component instance dot login form object dot username should be equal to the value which I was triggered whenever my input has been changed that means username sample let me pass this username sample semicolon and as we are using the form related stuff let me import forms module into my imports section of configuration testing module so here I have been expecting one value that is username element value and let me hit ng test so if you see here one expectation has been successfully passed in the same test case I can use one more element let me minimize this and let me write some more test cases I have zoomed out and const password element colon it's an HTML input element 
and it is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my query selector I need to pass an ID let me give hash password ID let me copy this password ID and let me define for that particular input field ID is equal to password ID let me save this and go to the spec file here I bought this password and also let me assign some value password element dot value equal to password sample and also let me trigger an event on this password element dot dispatch event of new event which is of type again it's an input type and once my updation has been happened on my fixture let me expect the value expect of component instance dot login form object dot password it should be equal to the password which I have entered here in this value so what I have entered password sample let me pass this password sample and give semicolon save and if you see here our test CSS has been successfully passed with two expectations and now what I want to do is I want to create a spy on function let me create const login submit mock it's a mock function and that mock function can be created by spy on of component instance comma what is my name of that particular method it's a login submit let me pass that login submit and it has to be call it has to be and the dot call through whenever this button is clicked it has to be called so here what I can expect is let me call the element of that particular button and const submit btn element colon html button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of I want to pass the button ID and this button ID let me copy this and pass this ID to that button let me save this and go to the spec file we have created a submit button and whenever this submit button is clicked let me use submit button dot click event happens then what what it should be called it should be called with expectation of submit mock dot to have been called of to have been called at least one time let me save this and if you see the output yeah it has been successfully passed and if you see here it is hitting that particular value and we wrote a console inside this particular login submit and that console is getting printed as an object format with the both the values whatever we have passed so here we have tested from the HTML to the controller via login object form that is at the controller level so we can use the same thing but in a different way or vice versa for example if my login object is updated for example let me create it statement update login object in the controller and check HTML element content so I want to check the HTML element content when my values are updated in my component instance component instance dot login form object dot username is equal to uh, I want to update the username as Sai Kumar semicolon component instance dot login form object dot password is equal to Sai at one two three this is my password one two three four is my password and also before assigning these values let me detect the changes for the fixture fixture dot detect changes and also fixture dot debug or when stable dot then it is a callback inside the callback let me pass this to username and the values of the component instance to this so I have passed this and once this passage is done then let me get the HTML content so before getting the HTML content I want to update the fixture again fixture dot detect changes because I have changed the component values and fixture dot when stable dot then of it's a callback inside this callback let me create const username element is colon HTML input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is the ID of this particular username it's a username ID copy this paste here and it is prefixed with hash let me give semicolon and also let me get the value for password element password element 
colon html input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of my password element my password element is password id and pass it with a hash semicolon and then our expectation is expect of username element dot value should be equal to the value which is passed from the login object that means copy this and paste here and also expect the password element value password element dot value should be equal to the value which I passed from login object that is sci at one two three four let me copy this and paste here semicolon save two test cases has been successfully passed here we have tested in two ways that means whenever my ng modal values are updated then my component dot ts object is updated when my component ts object is updated my html content is also updated so that is how we will be testing our angular two-way data binding from the controller level and accessing the variables from the html elements hope you like this video if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you